Mixamo is a free web service by Adobe. It is used for auto-rigging characters and applying a wide range of animations, which can be further customized to meet your specific requirements, such as its speed or range of motion. As shown, the tools offered by Mixamo allows you to create multiple variations of the push-up animation, so you can play it slower or faster depending on your player's skills and energy levels in the game. In order to use Mixamo, you will need to use an Adobe account or sign up if you are a new user. The procedure to convert animations to MTA is quite simple. Afterwards, I will explain some issues you might run into if you do the process differently. First, import a skinned mesh, in my case LVPD1, using Goldfish's or Cam's importer, and apply the IFP animation named cards underscore in from casino.ifp found in gta3.img. Collapse skin modifier and delete the skeleton. Create a plane below the character and have only the bottom soles intersect the plane. Delete the character. Name the plane as ground underscore plane and freeze it. This is the approximate height at which the player will touch whatever surface they're standing on, which may vary slightly from ped to ped. Import a skinned mesh using the Heroes plugin. Set to explicit normals and standard materials. Set time configuration to 60 FPS. Export to FBX using these settings. Create a dummy and align only position to the root. Link the root to the dummy and rotate the dummy 180 degrees so that the rig's back can be seen from the view cube named front. Copy the ground plane position and paste into the dummy. Import the model into Mixamo which accepts our skeleton perfectly. I'm going to be using the Breakdance Freezes animation. Choose your save settings. I will use 60 FPS just so it plays a bit smoother in game. Import the animated FBX to 3D as max set to update animation. and set timeline configuration to end at frame 401. Import a skinned mesh using Goldfish's importer and affix the root and mesh underscore bake to GTA. Create a floating scene explorer and extend its height. In display menu at both scene explorers, untick auto expand to selection. Add orientation constraints to every GTA bone and set the target to the corresponding Mixamo bone. Add position constraint to the root bone and set the target to the corresponding Mixamo bone. The reason for the slight offset is the mesh position was cleared when using the Heroes plugin, which does not offset meshes unlike comms. 
save your project and ideally a backup of the current progress so that you can more easily reuse this scene again if you are converting multiple animations. Bake rotation for all bones and position for root. As GTA is only able to use linear tangents, you are going to need a lot of keys in areas where you would normally use ease in, ease out. So for best results, keep the samples the same as the animation duration, and then optimize from there. You can also optimize by only baking keys to bones where keyframes are present. Load a random IFP with IFPIO and replace its contents. You can reuse this setup and load in different Mixamo animations. In order to mass export IFPs, it's easiest to set up the IFP in GTA Animation Manager. Copy the contents of the IFP several times and rename each uniquely. And with IFPIO in 3Ds, Max use the replace function to replace each animation. The reason you don't want to upload comms rig with Mixamo is the rig is oriented incorrectly which makes it animate sideways when converted to IFP. You might still be able to fix it using a dummy, but you would still have to use orientation constraints. Unfortunately, the Heroes plugin does not have the correct properties required for the IFP exporter to work, and that is why you are importing a DFF using Goldfish's or CAM scripts to then export IFP. Saving a XAF from a rig imported with the Heroes plugin and loading on CAMs does work by resetting transforms for the root bone, but the player will face 180 degrees so the wrong direction, though it does play.